Are you still deciding whether you should learn Flutter or not in 2024? In this video, I'm going to tell you about all the features, what you can make with Flutter, what are the advantages, some of the myths I'm also going to bust about Flutter like Dart language and package system and all those things we are going to talk. So stay tuned, we're going to start right away now first i would like to clarify that this video is not a comparison video where you see uh, flutter versus xamarin flutter versus react native and at the end of the video person tells you that whatever fits your need whatever demands you have depending on that you have to choose a platform so actually i'm not going to do that we are going to talk about some you know real points like what actually it is and you know why i can tell you the difference and why i can tell you flutter is the best because i have decent experience like almost four or five years with flutter and in past i have also worked with the xamarin platform cross-platform tool native uh, development so i have overall mobile experience now first we will start with the myth that when you start learning flutter you have to learn a new language which is start now that's not totally true and it comes from someone who have never done programming or they're just a youtuber and just to you know uh, bring some points of comparison they just added this point now if you see the dart language in comparison with other languages like c sharp or even javascript it's a high level language with oops concept so it's going to be exactly the same and i'm going to give you a very short demo let's head over to the browser I'm going to write a very simple example like mathematic operations, print statement, if, switch, case, all those things. We're going to see how it differs. The Dart language differs from JavaScript, right? Result 16. Perfect. Now, same thing we will try in Dart language. Any high level programming language you choose, it's exactly the same. Now, let's say I want to write if condition whether is there any difference in if or not same goes for switch statement the exact same thing even i can you know just copy paste this thing over here it can even compile so if you see the point that youtubers are raising that you have to learn a new language it's totally false of course you have to uh, you know learn some of the features of dart like how patterns are implemented in c sharp they have tuples but overall when you're programming you're writing most of the time if statement switch statement calling a method so i hope this point is clear now let's move to some of the features the platforms and let's talk about overall flutter platform if you go by definition flutter is a ui toolkit now it can work on any single platform either it's a linux windows mac uh, android ios you know you name it and it can run there but mainly it supports mobile development web development desktop application and game development Now, if you talk about the mobile development, if you want a rich UI, if you want animations, if you want, you know, trendy look and feel, you can do that. On the other hand, if you want, you know, native features like you want to read NFC card, you want to do sound wave generation, you want to uh, have a Bluetooth con connectivity. So all those kind of things also you can do easily in Flutter. It means that you have easy access to the platform specific code. You can easily integrate the libraries the android aar file if you have uh, the libso file and even if you want to go deep down to the c level where you have some c plus plus libraries you can easily integrate and use ffi package to communicate to your native programs as well this is not just something that i have read somewhere and i'm talking i have also integrated a c plus plus library inside my project where i have used the gg wave library to generate some sound frequencies and transmit data to other applications so you can go up to that level so you have the top level where you create a beautiful ui animations and all those things and if you want to go deeper to native library kotlin library or you want to go till the c level you can do that easily in flutter so that's the advantage and there comes a boundary like there are some application which is you know not intended to be made with flutter now if you talk about augmented reality application where you have a camera feed and you are putting 3d objects live and it's tracking uh, for example the measurement application you can you know in 3d space you can move your phone and it will measure the things and you can have like a 3d character placed inside your uh, environment and it's tracking and all those things so of course you can do that in flutter with the help of packages and all but i would personally say that this is not something flutter is meant for flutter is meant for the other 99 percent case easily fit and easily integrate all the features without having to rewrite the logic in different platforms Now let's talk about the web application. When Flutter started the Hummingbird project. It's a port of Flutter that runs on the modern standards-based web. 
The web uh, project was actually very laggy. It was it started as uh, people started you know shaming Flutter that their application doesn't work on website. They, uh, they are not able to make website. So there's also a gap there. Like people, they started creating your you know their documentation website or their homepage website with Flutter. Flutter is not meant for that. Flutter is actually a web app development tool. So you can create progressive web apps if you have any tool. For example, like I've discussed in the previous video, if you want to create something like Canva, if you want to create something like KindMaster, if you want to create online tools, like Rive is the one of the best example. So you can make easily those applications on a, in a single code base and run on mobile platform and web platform. And now with the WebAssembly support, you can even compile to WASM and it will run much faster in the supported browsers. So remember that it's not for websites, it's for web applications. Now let's also talk about the desktop application. Now I would agree here that Flutter is not focusing totally on a desktop platform. Uh, but if you want to write some utility or you have some existing code base or web application which is running fine on a website and you want to bring a native version of that like Canva. If you see behind the scene, Canva is rendering everything. The same logic goes inside a web and same logic they have bundled inside a Mac OS application or Windows application. Your code base will work on all the platform. You don't have to switch technology to, you know, whatever you have done years of uh, hard work to, you know, just support your desktop and Mac users. Now let's talk about game development, which is, in my opinion, have received very less attention, uh, which it is capable of. In the recent years, Flutter has focused on game development. They have tied up with other companies to create game challenges, which you have seen the result. It's amazing, outstanding, I would say. Point is, you can easily make games, uh, casual games, 2D games, platformer games, arcade games inside Flutter using flame package which has a game loop collision detection keyboard input and effects which is very powerful so you can create a lot of things very easily with the simple concepts inside flame game engine and if if you want to have physics you want to write uh, you know some gravity concepts and things should collide with each other and all those things you can go deeper in the forge 2d package and you can implement all those things too and trust me game development has a very big market now don't underestimate that it's a 2d game it's a casual game who's gonna play that nowadays people are playing 3d games and racing games like this and all there's always a market there's a variety of people who likes 2d cartoon who likes 3d cartoon and who likes anime movies so if you look at the reports and revenue of game development you will be amazed that how big the market is and how you can cater to those market with the same knowledge and same development skills and we are also going to focus on game development you will see in upcoming videos that i will talk about the game the game loop concepts sprite and all those things so hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed and also like the video because it helps the video to grow faster all right let's jump to the topic so if you summarize this video we have discussed all the different platforms flutter supports and what you can achieve with flutter starting from top level UI animations and rich UI to down level C language integrations and library integration, physical communication, everything you can achieve inside Flutter easily. That's very important. Then we also saw the support for web application development with the help of Wasm. It becomes faster. Then we saw you can create utility application and convert your existing app to a desktop application to cater those audience. And finally, we talked about our favorite game development. So I will encourage you if you have not yet started, if you're still, you know, finding the comparison videos, stop those comparison. Flutter is good fit for you. You can start learning Flutter. You can create mobile apps, web apps, game. You can play around with it. Now, if you talk about the job market, of course, there's a huge demand. Even in my organization, there's a current opening right there. So there's a huge demand, but due to the market crisis, you, you saw that in 2024, the year started with Google layoffs, Facebook layoffs. So yeah, there's a current recession or I, I could say that market crunch is going on because of some other factors. But yeah, the mobile development, it's not going to end. The flutter is not going to end because of any other tools like people are saying that maybe KMP, which is Kotlin multi-platform will kill flutter and uh, a lot of rumors, but it's not going to happen like that you have to learn something which you are interested in if you're interested in mobile development go for it if you're interested in game development casual games of course go for it if you want to create some web application go for it so flutter fits all these needs i will highly recommend 
stop searching and start learning thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one